Niels Kai Jern, FRS, the 23rd of December 1911 to the 7th of October 1994, was a Danish immunologist. He shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1984 with George J. F. Kohler and César Milstein for theories concerning the specificity in development and control of the immune system and the discovery of the principle for production of monoclonal antibodies. Jern is known for three significant ideas. Firstly, instead of the body producing antibodies in response to an antigen, Jern postulated that the immune system already has the specific antibodies it needs to fight antigens. Secondly, it was known that the immune system learns to be tolerant to the individual's own self. Jern postulated that this learning takes place in the thymus. Thirdly, it was known that T cells and B cells communicate with each other. Jern's network theory proposed that the active sites of antibodies are attracted to both specific antigens idiotypes and to other antibodies that bind to the same site. The antibodies are in balance, until an antigen disturbs the balance, stimulating an immune reaction. <laughs> Early years His ancestors had lived on the small Danish island of Fano for centuries, but, in 1910, his parents moved to London where Jern was born in 1911. During the First World War his parents moved to the Netherlands and Jern spent his youth in Rotterdam. After studying physics for two years at the Leiden University, Jern moved to Copenhagen and changed his studies to the field of medicine. He graduated from the University of Copenhagen with a degree in medicine in 1947. Four years later, he was awarded the doctorate for his thesis, A Study of Avidity Based on Rabbit Skin Responses to Diphtheria Toxin Antitoxin Mixtures. Research positions From 1943 to 1956 Jern was a research worker at the Danish National Serum Institute and during this time he formulated a theory on antibody formation. It is said that Jern got his revolutionary scientific idea while bicycling across the Langbro Bridge in Copenhagen on his way home from work. The antibody formation theory gave Jern international recognition, and in 1956, Jern went to work for the World Health Organization in Geneva, where he served as the head of the sections of biological standards and of immunology. He held this post for six years until moving to the United States and the University of Pittsburgh in 1962 to work as Professor of Microbiology and Chairman of the Department of Microbiology for four years. Jern continued to do work for the World Health Organization as a member of the Expert Advisory Panel of Immunology from 1962 and onwards. In 1966 Jern moved back to Europe and took up the position of Professor of Experimental Therapy at the Johann Wolfgang Goethe University in Frankfurt. From 1966 to 1969 he was the director of the Paul Ehrlich Institute, also in Frankfurt. In 1969 Jern again switched jobs, this time to Basel in Switzerland, where he was the director of the Basel Institute for Immunology until his retirement in 1980. During the 1970s and 1980s, Jern was a pioneer in the development of immune network theory. According to Jern's biographer Thomas Soderquist, Jern was not a bench scientist, could not pipette accurately, and did not enjoy experimental work. His Nobel Prize was awarded for theories, rather than discoveries. Jern developed the natural selection theory of immunology, proposed by Paul Ehrlich 50 years earlier, although he was missing the clonal selection element proposed by David Talmadge and then by Frank McFarlane Burnett. It was met by skepticism among his colleagues at first. James Watson for example told Jern bluntly that his theory stinks. Topic. Family life Jern was married three times. He had two sons, Ivar Jern born 1936 and Donald Jern born 1941, with T.J.E.K. Jern, a painter. Jern had a third son, Andreas Wettstein, with Gertrude Wettstein, in 1971. According to Soderquist, T.J.E.K., 35, was distraught when she found out that Niels was having an affair with her best friend, Ada Sunsig Hansen. T.J.E.K. had confided in Ada about her own affairs, and Ada had told Niels about them too. Niels demanded a divorce. T.J.E.K. begged him to stay. After he refused, she killed herself. Ivar woke up in the morning, smelled gas, and found his mother dead by the oven. Jern reportedly treated his second wife like a servant and nanny. He was serially unfaithful to his wives. 
Topic: Awards and Honors. Marcel Binoist Prize 1978. Paul Ehrlich and Ludwig Darmstadter Prize 1982. He was awarded honorary doctorates from University of Chicago 1972. Columbia University 1978. University of Copenhagen 1979. University of Basel 1981. Erasmus University Rotterdam 1983. He was a member of Foreign Honorary Member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1967. Member of the Royal Danish Academy of Sciences and Letters 1969. SSI Honorary Member 1970. Foreign Associate of the National Academy of Sciences 1975. Foreign Member of the American Philosophical Society 1979. Elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1980 Member of the Académie des Sciences 1981. References Bibliography Jern, N. K. The Natural Selection Theory of Antibody Formation. PDF. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, 41 11, 849-857. doi, 10.1073, pnas.41.11.849. PMC 534,292. PMID 16,589,759. Jern, N.K. Towards a Network Theory of the Immune System. Analyst Immunology, 125c, 1 2, 373 389. PMID 4142565. Jern, N. K. Nobel Lecture, The Generative Grammar of the Immune System, PDF, Nobelprize.org, retrieved 20 October 2010. Hoffman, G. W. 1994. Niels Jern, Immunologist 1911-1994. Vaccine Research, Mary Ann Liebert, Inc., 3 173-174, archived from the original on 6 October 2014. Dabiska, S. 2004. Science as Autobiography, The Troubled Life of Niels Jern. JAMA, The Journal of the American Medical Association, 291 10, 1267. doi, 10.1001, JAMA.291.10.1267. External links The Nobel Citation Biography from the Nobel Foundation Interviews with Nobel Prize winning scientists, Niels Jern, BBC, 25 April 1987. Video of an interviewed with Louis Wolpert. Duration 37 minutes.